No, no, no. Do you not thought give me that, that I don't want to be in my house. I used to be friends. Sorry, I hope. Hello? Yo, man. What are you saying tonight? Tonight? I'm now I'm probably just gonna do some work. Nah, nah, nah. Do not give me that shit. You've been out in time. Come on, man. We'll just have fun. Get a little bit tipsy. Just, 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 just trust me. Just trust me. Alright. What time? Meet at mine for uh, eight. Okay, calm. I'll be there. I'll come get you if you're not. <laughs> okay. Bye. <sighs> Yo. Yo. Yo, are you good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, I just got dizzy. Alright, well, last entry's in 10 minutes. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yo, man, you good? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Mm. Friedrich Pollock, Leo Lowenthal, Eric Fromm, Jürgen Habermas. These are all names you'll all need to know for your books, please. These are all major critical thinkers that we'll be looking at today. Frankfurt School theory was influenced by Marx's dialectical and historical material. Relevant to a 
critique of late capitalism, postmodernism, and conditions followed by mass production for mass markets, the mind is created by generating desire, commodity, fetishism, identity work, consumption, emotion, conscience. Under monopoly, all mass culture is identical, and the lines of its artificial framework begin to look <laughs> signs of the ingenious planning of international concerns, towards which the... Uh, Bonner? Hello, vacancy departments. James speaking. How may I help you today? Hello. Um, hi. I was just calling to see if there were any updates on the placement vacancy that I applied for. I'm afraid we filled our placement vacancies and we're no longer accepting new applicants for this year. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. First, I denied it. That voice in the back of my head beating me down. Because that's normal, right? They say diamonds are made under pressure, and I needed forging. But then a poison in wolves' clothes came in. A catalyst disguised as a pandemic, growing so large I could no longer hold him back. We used to be friends, him and I. Born together, as brothers in arms. The only one I could truly ever count on, who when I was down, they picked me up, who when I was lost, they showed me a path. Through thick and thin, through pain and joy, we had each other's backs. We used to be friends, him and I. But now I fear my friend now sees me as the enemy. What once was a harmonious partnership now turns bitter and sour with these delusions of imposterism. And thoughts that I don't want to muster cloud my vision, and through the fog I see him there, directing those thoughts towards me. We used to be friends, him and I. But that's normal, right? They say diamonds are made under pressure, but I'm not being forged, I'm being crushed. That's not normal, right? Thoughts that I don't want to muscle them out my dick. No, no, no. Do not do that. Oh, no. So helpless. Hey Connor, you've missed our session today. You haven't shown in in the last two weeks. Hope all is okay. And remember, 
It's not easy, but we're always here to help. So, Connor, I know you were reluctant to start with, but do you feel any different since we've begun? Yeah. Yeah, I feel calmer, I guess. Less like the world's on my shoulders, you know? Well, progress is progress, no matter how small it is. Tell me, Connor, did you have any more thoughts of death? or self-harm? Yeah. It, it, some, they come and go. <laughs> Still. But, um, I'm just, like, I'm trying to keep my head on and stay positive and all that. Well, the fact that you're trying to stay positive is very good to hear. And you are not alone in this. I just still can't help but feel that I'm not doing enough. You've been through a lot and you should give yourself some credit. And you're still here. It's a victory itself. So, Connor, how is uni work going? Are you still on top of it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm doing a lot better than before. Connor? James. Shit, man, how you doing? Oh, I'm good, bud. Mind if I sit? No, go for it. How have you been anyway? I've not seen you around here since what, before the summer? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. But yeah, I just, I took a couple of months out just to get myself sorted before final year. But, but what about you then? Yeah, no, I'm all right. I've just come back from my placement at Disney, actually. It's been pretty cool. It's been stressful, though. Yeah. God, that. That's so cool. That sounds awesome, man. Well done. Yeah, no, it was a lot of work, though. Yeah, but I bet it was worth it, though. Oh, yeah. I've learnt quite a lot. It's my final year, mm. but I feel... I feel a bit more nervous about it. No, you, but you, had the, it was, you had the internship. I'm sure you'll be ready. Yeah, but I'm not very confident in myself. I'm worried that this... I'm more scared that this placement has made me more anxious. Really? So... I just... I don't know, I kind of always had you pegged as the person that just sort of had it always figured out. <laughs> Me? Yeah. No. I've barely made it through this placement myself, to be honest. But just keep my head up and keep going. Thought they all had it figured out. Grace, your cancer too? Hmm? It, just outside student services, the same as me. I mean, that's what most of us come here for. Most of us? Yeah. Quite a few of us on our class do, actually. It seems the uni gets to us all, really. Yeah. I I stopped coming for a while, but I've just started picking it back up again. That's good. Mm. It's better to get it off your chest and open up. Better than bottling it up, anyway. Yeah. I'm just... I'm just... I'm really shocked that... That, that you... Sh struggle with mental health as well? Yeah. Yeah, it shocks me sometimes, but... You know, you keep your head up, keep going. I mean, you can't control everything that goes wrong in life, but you can control how you react to it. Mm. That's probably what's more important. Yeah. That's some really good advice. <laughs> yeah, some uh, gaffer in my placement told me about <laughs> it. Yeah. Anyway, bud, I've got to run. I'll catch you later on, yeah? And we'll keep in touch, yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely. All right, see you yeah. later, man. I'll see you later. We used to be friends, you and I. But the world made me bitter. Made me hate you when I didn't mean to, and now I don't know what to do. We are still friends, you and I. And although we may not know why, we chose to stay. But why? I'm tired of fighting. I feel so helpless and alone. It's not normal, right? It's more normal than we think. It's a fight, yes. It might not always be a fair one, but it's one you don't have to face alone anymore. All our lives, we've given energy to others. We neglected us. 
It's time we start giving that energy to ourselves. But how do I do that? I don't even feel good enough. Together. We do it together. And nobody really has a clue what they're doing anyway, so stop thinking about them and start thinking about you. We can't control the world, but we can control us and what we do in it. We are good enough. You just need to see that. What if it all goes bad again? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But don't worry about what could happen and just worry about now. I'm scared. I am too. I am. But we can't control that. And as long as we try, and as long as we know that if things go bad, we have people to turn to, we'll be okay. If things go wrong again, don't turn your back on me. Remember, we're friends, you and I. We better be. I'll write you a letter. What? When I wake up, I'll write you a letter, and you'll see it, and it will make it easier. Okay. You trust me? I trust you. I don't know what lies beyond this door. I'll never know. Now I realise that no one else does. So that doesn't scare me anymore. The unknown. All I know is that I can never go back to there. Even though I might not be ready, all I can do is try.